Hello everyone, it is I, Republic Studs, and today I am going to be finishing off my LEGO Star Wars Set Ideas Trilogy with Episode 6, Return of the Jedi. So for those who have been following the channel for a while, you guys know I've been doing set ideas for pretty much every LEGO Star Wars movie. Uh, we've hit up the prequels, we've done almost all the originals, now this is the final one. Uh, we hit up some shows, we did The Bad Batch, Season 1. Uh, we're probably going to start doing other shows, Rebels, Mandalorian... Clone Wars, all that stuff. We did Clone Wars Season 7, I think. Uh, but I want to do all of that, and I'm so excited. Uh, but first, before we get into any of it, I'm going to ask you all to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It'll help me out a metric ton, and I've been really excited to do this one. I'm really curious to see how it's going to be received. Hopefully, we can hit at least 400 likes on this video, and if we do, I will be absolutely thrilled. So just 400 likes, that's all it will take. You'll just Press the little button, make it turn blue or white, whatever it turns. Some people, it, it's different. Uh, but yeah, so we are going to get started right away. Our first set, the Master Builder series, Jabba's Palace. Now, this would be, again, in the same style as the most Isley Cantina set. Uh, $349.99. Uh, you know, this would be absolutely huge. Obviously, you know, I base it kind of off of the combined set with uh, Jabba's Palace and the Rancor Pit. Like, those are combined sets. So first off, I'd obviously have a Rancor Pit. I'd have Jabba's main palace room. Uh, maybe the room where the droids go to die. Uh, you could also get, you know, say, a prison room. There was loads and loads of areas. You'd have an area for Han's Carbonite to be placed. There's so much to do. You'd have chutes to drop Luke into the Rancor. All of that stuff. Uh, so first off, the figures included will be Jabba the Hutt, Bib Fortuna, Bausch Princess Leia. Obviously, we need to get Bausch again. That was a fantastic figure. Uh, obviously, we get Luke Skywalker again. Uh, we would get Han Solo. Uh, you know, again, and then he's Carbonite. Chewbacca, Lando Calrissian, C-3PO, and R2-D2. Uh, the Coaxian Monkey, like the guy who sits next to Jabba. I think we'd also get a Slave Leia. That would make a ton of sense, obviously. Boba Fett. Two Grimorian guards, the Rancor to go in the Rancor pit, of course. Uh, uh, Jawa, you know, we had those falling around. Uh, the Rancor breeder, the Rancor guy who, you know, breeded Patissa, I think that's the name of the Rancor. Uh, and then I would also obviously include Max Rebo, uh, John Yauza. He is the guy who, like, does the heavy singing, like, like that guy. And then Sai Snoodles, we have the whole band, I think that would be great. Uh, and you know, maybe we'd throw in a few more band members, you know, sub in some, take out some, I don't know. Uh, but but that would be great, obviously, you know, Jabba's Palace, very eclectic place. I wouldn't be shocked if that was one of the next Master Builder series sets. Uh, if not, you know, some sort of Yavin. It, it's certainly going to be Jabba's Palace. Uh, but yeah, let's move into the next one. Now, this next one is a battle pack. And yes, we've gotten enough original trilogy battle packs. I know. Uh, but this would be the Ewoks battle pack. $14.99. Uh, or $20 now, apparently. Uh, but this would in just in basically include various Ewoks. You know, maybe versions we haven't seen before. Hopefully bring in a new mold. Uh, and then we would probably come with a, you know, like, log cannon type thing where, you know, you pull it back and it shoots out a log. Uh, we have gotten, you know, things like that, contraptions like that in the past. I believe we've got one in the Ewok Village set. And I think that would just be a super fun, small, little Ewok attack build. To grow your Ewok army. I mean, who doesn't want to grow an Ewok army? You're honestly lying to yourself if you don't want an Ewok army. But hey, anyway, let's move into the next one. This would be an Endor Imperial Battle Pack. I do not want to give LEGO ideas, but I'm going to give them ideas anyway. Uh, but so this would come with a scout trooper, an officer, and two stormtroopers. Pretty simple, you know, that's a pretty, you know, understandable, you know, baseline thing for what you would get from figures from Endor. We saw the scout troopers a lot. Uh, you know, we'd probably get a speeder build. That would make the most sense because they were most prominent on Endor. Uh, maybe we'd even get a tree. We've gotten one like this before, but it was pure, it was Rebels versus Imperial. This would be uh, just strictly Imperial. That's all I'd want to see. Uh, now let's move into the next one, and this is a $500, UCS Home 1. Now, the Home 1 is Admiral Akbar's Mon Calamari Cruiser. Uh, you know, I was also thinking, you know, this could also, you know, duel as a Last Jedi set. I don't know. I mean, the Last Jedi, they did have another Mon Calamari Cruiser. I just want to see the Lego Mon Calamari Cruisers. I'm sorry. I'm a little biased. Um, but, you know, it would be, you know, a huge model comparable to the size, hopefully, of the Imperial Star Destroyer UCS set. Uh, you know, I know it's n probably a little bigger than that, but I know, that, you know, you have to be realistic here. I don't think LEGO would do a $1,000 Home 1 set if nobody knows what the Home 1 is. Not 
it's a more of an obscure of a set. Uh, but anyway, uh, the fig two figures I would include would be Admiral Akbar and Mon Mothma if they do the two figure thing. If they do four, you know, maybe you'd throw in Crix Mandy and maybe you'd throw in Han Solo. I don't know. Uh, but, you know, I would include two small rooms if you could squeeze them in. I would include a small white briefing room, the room we see Luke and the gang all meet up in in episode six. And then I would see the command deck that Admiral Akbar sits in where he says, It's a trap! Uh, and, and all of that stuff. That would just be a great set. I'd love to see a home one set. And let's move into the next one. Now this is uh, $69.99 cents at the Ewok Cookout. Um, so this would basically be like a little section of the Ewok Village, kind of like what is on the Ewok Village set, uh, but more enlarged and more detailed. Uh, this would be, you know, have the Han on the fireplace, but you know, again, more fleshed out. You get the C-3PO chair levitating trick. You get a whole platform possibly. Uh, and then you would get, you know, Luke Skywalker and two Ewoks. Uh, I think that would be a great little selection of a set. I'd really like to see something like that. I love the, you know, Ewok Village, and since it's ideas, I have to come up with some new stuff. But they've made, like, everything from this movie, so this is difficult. Leave me alone. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, we're going to move to the next one, which is the Imperial Base Infiltration. So we have already gotten the Imperial Bunker, so this is going to be the interior of the bunker. And honestly, this is partially a remake, so I could do a set's Lego needs to remake. Uh, but they do certainly need to remake a bunker. Uh, you know, this would have Han in his, uh, reg in his, you know, indoor trench coat. I think this would be a great place to include Rebel Trooper Rex. I'd love to see Rebel Trooper Captain Rex uh, in here. He's, I believe he was became a commander in the Battle of Endor and fought alongside Han Solo. And I think we'd also get uh, like maybe one or two stormtroopers, an Imperial officer. I think that would just be fantastic. I'd love to see an infiltration. Maybe we'd include another ra random rebel. Uh, but I think that would just be perfect, uh, you know, further solidifying them into the canon. And everyone would absolutely, like, go ballistic if LEGO did one. And maybe give them arm printing with just some of the gauntlets, like the 501st gauntlets that they have around the clone arms. Uh, that would just be perfect. Now, next up, I want to do a small little microfighter. And this would be a microfighter ATSD. Believe it or not. We have not gotten a microfighter ATSD, uh, and I think this would be a great way to do one. We've gotten, I believe, the ATDP before. It would probably be very, very similar to that. Uh, it would come with Chewbacca because he did throw the ATSD driver out. I guess you do the ATSD driver, but honestly, I think kids would be more interested in you know getting Chewbacca, uh, and you know it could come with his stud blaster, all of that cool stuff. You know, ten bucks. I think that would be great. Uh, you know, you could look to other possible microfighter sets. I think we could see a microfighter. You know, Episode Six. A-Wing, we haven't gotten that before. I don't believe we've gotten one for The Last Jedi with Tally Lintra, uh, but not one for Episode 6, so you could see that again. You know, it's not as exciting of an idea, uh, but yeah. So now I want to move into my final idea, which is a 18-plus Vader versus Luke on the Death Star. Uh, now, for those who have followed the series, they've basically been making these 18-plus vignette display mocks, especially for the original trilogy. Uh, you'll see plenty of those with Vader. Uh, you know, with, I believe, last one we did his command deck. I believe we did Vader versus Obi-Wan in the A New Hope video and this one we're doing Vader versus Luke so I think this would actually come with three minifigures Vader, Luke, and Palpatine and would create basically a you know big version of this scene so you get a little playset in this set right here uh, this is the Death Star final duel set which I will have a review up on soon if not already uh, which obviously looks great, but I want to create a fully detailed out version of that with, you know, a detailed out chair for Palpatine to sit on, all realistic and normal and proportionally sized, and I think it would just be perfect. You can make even a small just vignette scene. It doesn't have to be crazy. Uh, I would just love to see an 18 plus set of that iconic scene. Everyone recognizes it, and you just have Luke fight Vader in that iconic stance. It would just be absolutely beautiful, and I would absolutely love it. So yeah, those are my Return of the Jedi set ideas. I know they are not entirely insane, uh, but I am still very excited to send them out there. Obviously, you know, it's very difficult to come up with stuff for the Return of the Jedi because LEGO has done so much of it. Uh, but yeah, so look forward in the future to seeing ones from Star Wars Rebels, Star Wars The Mandalorian Season 2, uh, and you know, tell me what you guys want to see down below. Do you want to see some you know, non-canon stuff that I'd like to feature in this series. Would you like to see just, you know, me kind of redoing certain ones? Like, I've done, like, ones a while ago based on, like, Clone Wars Season 7, but I want to go back and do more Clone Wars because there's so much to be made from the Clone Wars show. And the Bad Batch. Hey, and there's so many shows coming soon. So, yeah, with it said, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you. Remember, peace out and stay awesome. Mm -hmm.